All right, uh, I guess that will work. I, right now, it's nothing is working right for me. So there's our, our fruit stand. Um, yeah. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Simpletons SMP. As you can see behind me, I was once again a little busy between episodes. I went ahead and I built the silos. So let's go ahead and run over there and I'll show these off to you real quick. And again, these were designs done by Ken at K1 Inc. Um, I just really love the design and decided I wanted to build it here. It does have the same redstone that um, he set up in it and and it was originally uh, designed for um, like the console edition um, like the uh, PlayStation 3 or something like that um, but this is the inside of it uh, so you can see there are chests that go all the way up to the ceiling um, and there is an item elevator over here so you throw your items in here so in this one we do wheat and seeds and they go up the item elevator they go across and then they drop down into the collection system here um, so that you can pull them out of the bottom now again this is mostly going to be for decorative purposes it's really serves no point um, using this thing when you have something like a, a, an AE system like we do so let's uh, take a look at this one the two are identical with the the only difference is I put the doors facing each other instead of them both being on the right hand side but uh, we can fly up here take a look at the top again the this is um, all the um, flat colored blocks the entire roof is uh, chisels and bits because uh, of the um, the, the um, half slabs and the stairs uh, you can't um, do that with um, flat colored blocks you have to chisels and bits them to get them into the shapes that you want um, everything else is pretty much vanilla there was a little bit of um, uh, these of course are the bibliocraft lanterns I thought they looked nice so I put those out there um, instead of using his uh, trap door with lava in it for a garbage pit I put a, a garbage can in here and I also used some chisels and bits and made some uh, panels to cover up all the redstone on the inside here so it just looks nice so that's that uh, it did take me several hours to, to build the entire thing most of it uh, that time was spent gathering supplies and building up all this redstone and whatnot there because there are hundreds upon hundreds of hoppers and chests in this thing so we won't really use it because it is slow as uh, well I wouldn't say slow it is um, laggy on the system so let me just go ahead and do this real quick so we have our potatoes here so this first one was wheat and um, seeds and the second one is potatoes and carrots so you just come in here and you're going to toss your potatoes in there. They're going to go through the system and sort their way down into this chest eventually. Any items that don't belong in the system will come out in the last chest. So like if I threw in this uh, poisonous potato, it will eventually make its way through the system and out in, into this one here. But we got to get through all the other ones first. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, let me uh, put this stuff away real quick. Clean up this area. And I'll be right back with you for what we're going to work on today. All right. So what I was thinking about doing is this portion of our hex here. that's uh, all barren. I was thinking about putting in an apple orchard. And at the center, of it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place down a, a great wood sapling because I kind of want this huge tree in the middle with a bunch of other trees going all around it. Uh, so we're going to do that. I'm going to leave uh, quite a bit of space here because I kind of want a path that's going to go around the tree. It's going to lead through the apple orchard, around the tree, and then up to the front of the house eventually. And then somewhere over there, we're going to put in like a fruit stand. Um, and I thought I would use our... our um, the villager thing that we have the uh, 
uh, you know, where he sells stuff, the trader, and uh, set him up as the uh, person that was working the fruit stand. Then we'll make some other stuff to put out there. I don't know if we're going to get to that today, but uh, let's uh, at least get started. I want to place down some apple trees. I want to place them about with a gap of about three in between. Give them a little bit of room to grow. This. That should be good all the way out this way. Let me um, go some more this way now. Now one, two, three. 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 And so on and so forth. We're just going to do it right up to the edge here. There we go. That should be good. And I'm going to go ahead and fill the rest of this area in. Uh, let me go sleep real quick and I'll be right back with you. All right. So let me see. One, two, three here. I'm going to kind of hold off until this great wood grows because I kind of want uh, um, Actually, let me just move it over a little bit because I kind of want um, a nice big path that's going to go completely around that tree as it heads up towards the house. So I'm going to put these in line like in rows. So we still want to do three, a gap of three this way as well. And then just do the same thing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And so on and so forth. So let me go ahead and lay these down. Um, and I'll be right back with you. All right. So I've got some of the um, trees down. I still need to um, get a whole bunch more. Because I want a, a huge apple orchard. It's probably going to go you know, all the way from out here. All the way up towards the house. Um... So let me think about this real quick. What I want to do, though, is along this side here, and this is probably about as far out as we are going to go with the trees. Um, let's do one, two, three, and then I'm going to start putting down some fences here. Um, and this is going to kind of um, block off our, our orchard, and then we're going to have a path in here, so it's going to be about three one two three let's make it five wide so we got one two three four five and then the fences and then i'm just going to take these fences all the way up this way and this is going to be like the the road that's going to lead up to our house so let me uh get that started here And quit putting them down in the wrong spot even better let me see I'm gonna think I'm gonna come across here around the end of our orchard we go one two three starting out this way This. this line up here and we'll have to put some gates or something in here to something decorative at least to um, kind of have an entrance into the orchard itself And then this area on this side is actually going to be our farmland where we're going to be putting wheat and at least wheat. I'm not sure if I'm going to plant anything else. So let me uh, kind of get this taken care of all the way up as far as I kind of want to go on this. Probably be at the same spot here. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, like 
that. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of the fence all the way down to the obsidian at the end. And I'll be right back with you. All right, so I extended the fence all the way down and uh, over this way uh, to that one. Uh, it, it, and we have a, like a five wide road through here. I'm going to have to come up with some kind of a design for the road. I'm thinking it should be maybe it look like there's some ruts going down there where like a wagon or some type of a vehicle has been driven through here. It wouldn't be a perfect green all the way up. So what I'm thinking now is I'm going to set up my fruit stand here. So let's, um, I've got the market and I got a shipping bin, but I think I want to get another couple of shipping bins. I like the way they look. Um, or we can actually probably do something here. Let's let me grab this chisel and, uh, let's see, let's get some oak. Let's try each of the, these. The, the vanilla, one, two, three, four. I don't have any jungle planks. Ah, okay, let me take care of that real quick. Jungle planks. Just take one of those. Oak, birch, dark oak, acacia jungle. And get some spruce. I don't have any spruce planks either. Because I used them all up on making that. Let me just do this. Toss that in there. Grab one of those. One, we'll put the rest in the system. And then let's take a look with the chisel at what this thing can look like. So let's put some dark oak or regular oak in there. Do we have anything that looks like a crate? We do. We have oak planks. I think that kind of looks like a crate. Let's see what birch looks like. Snapple. Yeah, I think they're all going to be look like that, either scaffold or this one to me, disarray vertical, looks like it's a wooden crate. So let me just make one out of each of these. And there we go. Alright, what else I want to do is let's make some um, fruit baskets. And these should be easy enough to do. Let me just grab a whole bunch of them. I probably don't need 59 of them, but that's all right. All right, so let's come out here. Let me start, first of all, with the market. And we will put that out here, I think, by this big tree. Put him here. There we go. So we've got this guy, and then let's take and put down some of these planks. Let's set them down like this. We might just, uh, maybe we'll just stick with spruce. Let's take a look, maybe if the dark oak looks better. Hmm. I think the dark oak, so let me go ahead and pick this up. And we'll just make a few of the dark oak ones. Because I kind of want it to match what we got going there. So let me uh, fix these real quick. So I'll take the chisel. Oh, that's a shipping bin. We don't want to do that. Okay. Just turn them back into regular planks here. There we go. Put that aside. Right, 
So let's get some dark oak. If I can spell it correctly. Dark oak planks. Oh, uh, maybe eight of them. Let's do seven because I already have one out there. Alright, let's go ahead and chisel those real quick. And we'll just do the same thing, the disarray. Take this thing and toss it in here. Not in there. There we go. And we're going to kind of set this up a little bit. Like this. Four more. We get four more. All right. So let's see. Dark oak. One, two, three, four. Take our chisel. And let's go ahead and make those real quick. take our fruit baskets and I'm going to put them out like this Up here like that yeah okay now let's get some produce to put in there and then maybe we'll make up, up some uh, a type of sign to go around this thing so let's uh, head on back over to our AE system and get rid of the rest of those fruit baskets. All right. And then let's come in here. I want some apples. Apples. You can see I got 27,000 apples. I think we're good there. Uh, maybe we'll grab some. I don't take all of them, so let's take some pineapples, um, fruit. So let's see what we have for fruit. We've got some um, star fruit, uh, dragon fruit, and like that. Some chorus fruit, cactus fruit. Uh, what else could we be selling out there? Uh, do we have any melons? We have melon slices. I wonder if we could um, try this real quick. Let me, let me make four of those and some pumpkins. Pumpkin. Good. Let's see what else we have at Pam's. Uh, let's see. Maybe some blackberries. Let's grab some blackberries, some blueberries, candleberries, cranberries, gooseberry, raspberry. Strawberry. Let's go ahead and uh, set some of these up in the fruit stand and see how this looks. So let's start down here, maybe. Let's um. Fill that one with grapes. There we go. That's not too bad. Some blueberries here, a few more grapes, candleberries, some cr 
cranberries. All right. Let me go sleep real quick and then we'll come back out here and work on this some more. All right, so let's see. So what shall we put in? Let's come up here maybe. And uh, let's finish up the berries. We got cranberries, gooseberries. That's it for berries. Uh, maybe put the cactus fruit in here. And uh, pineapples. Yeah, just like that. Down here, I'm going to put the rest of those pineapples in there. Put some dragon fruit in. And do some star fruit. And then over here, I think we're going to fill this up with apples. Just like that. We do have an apple orchard after all. All right. And then I think on the sides here, let's uh, get some melons. See if we can make some kind of a sign for it. Um, okay, there is that sign that we used in the pet shop, which is what I think we're going to use. Um, the sign, and uh, it's one of these. Let's do a dark oak fancy sign. Can we make one of these? What are we missing? A dark oak label. All right. Let me make some of those. This. Make that. Okay, so we got that. Now, how am I going to hang this up? I don't want to use fences because they're in the middle. So what if we, let's see, take some dark oak. All right, I've got some dark oak planks. Do I have a saw? We will make the diamond bit saw real quick. All right, so. Let's try this out real quick. So I think what we do is we do, I don't want it that way. I want chisel <laughs> this chisel and my big bag and let's put 
this one away. Okay. So what I want to do is I kind of want to make um, some um, kind of like this, but I want them um, to be flat. So so that the sign can hang to the front of it. So let me go ahead and put this down. And let me do this. Let me uh, come in here. I'm going to change this to the same material. I'm going to pick that up like that. And then I'm going to do these. And I'm going to change that. To a line. Let me see if I can do this. Can I attach it here? Set down there, no. All right, so let's try single bit. <laughs> no, it's not gonna let me do that either. Mm, frustrating. So I should be able to build off of this and, and all I kind of want to do is come up and over and make some something that sticks up so that I can hang the sign from it. You know what? It's not going to work, so let's just do it this way. Let's see if we can attach the sign to the front of here. There we go. That will work. Can we edit the sign? Okay, so we want... Centered. Let's see if I can put that in there. Take that out. So essentially, let's see, maybe we'll do it like. signs work so let's I want to put that fresh fruit and then let's see try this and then I guess that will work. I, right now, it's nothing is working right for me. So there's our, our fruit stand. Um, yeah, and so we got our fence up. We got to start on our apple orchard. Um, I'm going to have to make a whole bunch more apple trees and get them planted the way I want to, and then I'll figure out something, you know, for some type of a an archway that leads into the into the orchard um, and I'm just gonna wait until this uh, that great wood um, grows and um, then I'll be able to finish all the rest of this out
All right, well, that's it for this episode. I know we didn't get an awful lot done, but we did get a good start to the apple orchard. Um, we put up some fencing uh, for where our actual fields are going to be at to kind of uh, section that off. And we built the fruit stand. And the things didn't work out 100% the way I wanted them to, but it doesn't look that bad. So, until next time, this is Desert Rat. Have a good one. Goodbye. Goodbye.